Hello everyone in this lecture today I'm going to talk to you about the differences between self pollination and cross pollination okay self pollination as the name suggests self means within the plant okay so basically what is self pollination self pollination in the self pollination there is transport of pollens okay transport of pollens from anthers from anthers that's the male reproductive part to the stigma that is female reproductive part of the same flower okay of the same flower that is a typical self pollination or to the stigma of another flower of the same plant that is adjacent self pollination so basically in self pollination there is a transport of poll the pollen from anthers to the stigma of the same flower or to the another flower of the same plant okay that's why self pollination this is called this kind of pollination is called self pollination whereas what is cross pollination cross pollination it means between the plants so what is it a cross pollination in cross pollination there is a transport of pollens from anthers of a plant to the stigma of another plant okay so they basically here there is a transport of pollens between the plants this is called cross pollination so because here is the, the transport of pollen within the plants therefore there is not requirement of pollinating agents like wind or insects etc okay in cell pollination there is no requirement of pollinating agents whereas in cross pollination because the pollination happens between the plants there is requirement of pollinating agents these pollinating agents includes wind insect bird pets etc basically what these pollinating agents will do they will transport pollen from anthers of a plant to the stigma of another plant okay next difference is that the self pollination occurs in one fourth of the flowering plant okay this occurs in one fourth of the flowering plant whereas cross pollination it occurs in three fourth of the flowering plants okay so therefore cross pollination is more common in flowering plants compared to self pollination the next difference is that because this pollination happens within the plant therefore it increases genetic uniformity but decreases genetic variation so here genetic variation decreases because everything is happening within the plant in the same plant okay whereas a uh, in in cross pollination genetic variation uh, increases okay so basically here here the genetic variation increases but decreases genetic uniformity okay because this is happening between the plants okay so finally few examples examples of self pollination is peanuts in peanuts self pollination happens whereas examples of cross pollination includes raspberries blackberries etc i hope this video was helpful please like and share the video and subscribe our channel thank you very much